Hi guys, it's Diane here from UK Disney Vlog. So this is going to be a really quick, simple, straightforward vlog. I just wanted to talk to you guys about using the Euro Tunnel and travelling in Europe and travelling to Paris by car. to take the car down to Disneyland Paris and um, it was the cheapest option for us at the time. Flying and train were coming out really expensive for us so we thought we'd have a road trip and drive. So there's a few things you really need to consider before driving in Europe. Um, I would highly, excuse me, highly highly recommend buying a book on European driving. So this is a European driver's handbook, it's from the AA. It's about £9.99 and it tells you about all parts of Europe, um, different rules and regulations and um, different road signs. Uh, Travelling in France, the speed limits are obviously different to the UK. Um, it, it varies depending on whether you're travelling with a caravan, whether you've got a trailer on the back. It also is changeable due to the weather, so if it starts raining, the speed limits will change. So this book is really good. It tells you about all the changes and about the different speed limits. I mean, they are available on the sides of the roads as well, so you don't have to memorise them. But it's a really good idea to know how fast you can go and whether it works in miles or kilometres per hour. So it's a really, really good book. So I would recommend buying this. Like I said, it's an AA and it's um, 9.99. Also, before travelling to Europe, you need to get yourself a European pack, car pack. So we purchased this one from the AA. I think the book came in it. Don't quote me on that because I didn't buy it. The kits themselves, you can get them from Argos, Halfords, um, Amazon. They range from about £25 to about £35. And it's got all the stuff you need in it for traveling and driving through Europe. Now what I didn't realize before we traveled is that you'd need this and need some of the stuff in it. So obviously you need a high vis jacket, which must be kept in the car with you for the driver. You need a breathalyzer kit. So you must have, you must travel with a breathalyzer kit. First aid kit, you need all your triangles and your emergency equipment. Just in case you were to break down, you must, must, must travel with these while you're traveling through Europe. So head over to, if you're thinking about going and driving, you must purchase one of these, like I said. Dead easy to get hold of. Halfords, Amazon, just go and check it out. So you must travel with these. You must have, there's an essential list of items you must have. So um, make sure you've got the full list of items because some of the packs don't include everything and you will be purchasing extra things. So the Aura Tunnel itself, the Aura Tunnel was so easy and straightforward. I mean, we did watch a couple of YouTube videos before we went um, to see how straightforward it was and what you actually had to do. So you obviously register online and check in online first. It gives you your train time and it tells you what time you have to get there from and what's the latest time you can check in from. Um, it's so straightforward, easily signposted. It tells you like cars and oversized vehicles in one direction, um, lorries in one direction, obviously cars in a different direction altogether. Um, you drive up to the booth, you type in your reference number and then it comes up with all your details. For us, the first morning we arrived, we arrived within our time slot but there was a train going much earlier than ours and it asked us if we wanted to get on it. So we decided to go and say yes and just get a head start on our journey. So that is also an option. It does come up They might try and get you on the earlier train. Then straight forward, they print the ticket out, the letter in your car, and then you head off. So we headed straight off to the train. Before the train, we didn't go by the terminal, we didn't need to wait because we're obviously getting that earlier train. We did bypass the terminal. Coffee, um, but it was great just to get straight on and straight into France. Um, the Eurotunnel itself, getting on is really easy. They kind of provide 
recommend it enough especially if you live close to the Euro tunnel um, driving is just a quite a simple option I mean for us it's a massive trek from Manchester all the way down to Folkestone and then traveling from Folkestone to Disneyland Paris we did it in one day on the way home and we were absolutely exhausted but if you live right by the coast it's such a fantastic option and such a good option and dead straightforward and dead easy to use thanks for watching um, I hope the video has provided a few sort of hints and tips of what to do for traveling on the Euro Tunnel. If you've got any questions um, or comments, leave them in the box down below. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and thanks for watching. Bye!